Hello everybody. If you are one of my friends who is at home, you might see something like this sitting in your art packet. It has koi fish kite back and a koi fish kite front. We are making a koi fish kite. It is a type of fish and this kite is for Children's Day that's celebrated in Japan. Pretty cool day to celebrate kids, don't you think? On the inside of this folder, you are going to see lots of different colors paper. If for some reason you do not have your packet and you do not have a lot of colors of paper, what you can do is you can take a white piece of paper and you can start coloring your paper all you want and start making your own colors of paper. So whatever you have, just do your best. You are going to cut out your fish kites. Doo, doo, doo. And you can start to add whatever you'd like on the body of the fish. If you would like to add an eyeball, you can add an eyeball. Oh, so cute. If you would like to add any other details, you can. Now, when you put your fish kite together, they fit together like a sandwich, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're doing the eyes on the correct side. So I'm going to do my other eye right here. So just line them up and do a little double check. Oh, very nice. Okay, so now we have two fishy, fishy, fishies. And we are going to need to add scales to our fish. Oh gosh, what are we gonna do? Well, before you add scales to your fish, if you would like, you can color your fish. It's a good idea to go ahead and give your fish some color before you add on the fun scales. You can color the whole fish. You can color the face, the fins. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils. This is just the base layer. So you don't have to make it all different colors. This is just to go underneath some of the paper. So just color it nice and quick, but completely. Oops. The tail, you can always get a little bit more fancy because we won't put any scales on that tail. You're going to do the same thing to both fish. I'm not going to do that so I don't bore you but that's how you do it. Same thing with the fins. You can make the fins a little bit more fancy because we won't be adding the scales to those. I might layer some of my other colors on the fins. Ooh, that side, I tell you. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I can add color to my face. You can do any colors you want. This is your fish. You can do lots of different colors. You can make your fish have lipstick. You could maybe, if you really like fish and you have a favorite fish, maybe you have a pet fish, you could copy their colors. The body is where we're going to put scales. So you have all of these different colors of paper. We are going to be cutting out circles to make our scales. So I'm going to take a piece of paper and you can use a pencil for this. I'm going to use my marker so that you can see. And I'm going to start creating some circles, okay? My circles are about the size of a quarter. Oh, a quarter, yes, a quarter. If you would like to trace a quarter, you can. If you're a little nervous about creating your own circles. I am not, I don't mind if they're the same size or not, but I'm going to try to keep them about the same size, okay? So I can fit totally fit my thumb on the inside. They're not really, really tiny because we are going to be cutting these out. Oh my goodness. So you're going to carefully do your best and cut out your circles. Did you notice how I cut the paper apart? That is a little trip, tip or trick trying to hold the whole paper at once and cutting things out is not easy. So cutting your paper apart can be a little bit better. 
Another tip and trick, if you really feel like you're great with cutting, you can stack two pieces of paper on top, draw your circles. You can always ask for help too. If you would like someone at home to help you, I'm always okay with that. Helping is the key word. Doing it for you. Mm. No, no, no. Now, see, I'm holding these two papers together. If you can hold them together nicely, turn your paper while you're closing your scissors, then you can get more circles as you go. So that's just another tip or trick to make your circles. Now I have done this project where other students decided to kind of go their own way and do some different shapes. Uh, as you know, my most important goal for you is to make sure that you are staying creative and enjoying yourself. So if you're feeling like, hmm, I wanna try a different type of shape, I'm okay with that. That's cool. But we're going to be doing a lot of these circles. Take some time, just do your best. Cutting can be a skill. The more you do it, the better you get at it. If you're wondering, how did you get to be so good at cutting? I'll tell you why. I've been practicing for a long time. Now, here's how we're going to add these scales. Now, what are scales? You might have seen a fish before, or maybe Rainbow Fish is a book that you've seen. I know I showed a video of it earlier this year. You can go back and watch it, or maybe I'll just post it again for you to be able to watch. Those scales are the texture. I know a lot of you, some of you drew some fish with me before, so you should kind of know a little bit about scales, some of you, <clears throat> but you probably have never done it like this before. So you are going to have a whole bunch of circles ready to go and then we are going to start to glue them on. Now, you can use liquid glue, you can use um, glue stick, you could even use tape if you really <clears throat> don't have um, glue. But the most important thing is you start from the tail and you go up, okay? So we're going to start from the tail and we're going to go up. I'm gonna do a little line of glue. If this glue will work, yep, here we go a little line of glue and I'm going to start putting my scales down here. Now why do I need to put my scales on like this? What is the point, Mrs. Sasso? Well, you're going to see it in just a second when I do my next row. We are going to actually be overlapping putting the scales on top like this. Do you see how some of those scales are on top of the other one? I'm gonna use this color. So I'm not putting it here, I'm putting it on top of the other ones, right on top. And that gives it a really cool look. I might even put a little glue here to really get them to stick. Here we go. See, I'm putting it on top, not covering it, just a little bit. Just a smidge on top. I'm even putting it on top of the one that I just started there. Just as long as that row, the row that you're doing is on top of the row that you did before. And now it looks like I need to cut some more scales. So if you think you got it, you can stop this video. If you wanna keep watching me add some more scales, you can keep watching. I'm just gonna keep on adding some more. I'm gonna do some super super cutting right now. Oh my gosh, look at all these papers together. Oh, so many papers. I'm going to draw my circle. All right, let's see if I can do it. Can I do it? You can do it, Mrs. Sasso, you can do it. Oh, thanks guys. Okay, here we go. 
so much. I'm glad I have these big scissors. If you're trying to cut a lot of paper at one time, big scissors really help because they have a bigger mouth. All right, here we go. Ooh, I think I did it. Yay. All right. I'll cut some more. I did not draw on that one. I'm just gonna try to cut it. Let's see how it goes. See how it is at the circle factory. Yep, I'm good. Alrighty, now let's add some more on here. Here we go. Doop, doop, doop. I might even, like I said, add a little bit of a line here. So I'm gonna start adding that next row. And remember, I'm overlapping, putting them on top just like this. Now I am not creating any crazy patterns right now. I did not. I did a lot of those colors because that's just what I cut. It is up to you, the artist. Maybe you want to do the random colors like I'm doing or maybe you want to add only certain colors. Maybe you have some fun paper at home that I don't have and you want to cut that I didn't give you or if you weren't able to pick up your packet, then maybe you just happen to have your own construction paper. Sometimes people have like glittery paper. That would be cool, kind of like rainbow fish. It takes some time, but we just overlap as we go. I'm definitely gonna need to cut some more. More, more, more. We need some more. Oh, I haven't done pink yet. And I haven't done this color blue yet. All right, here. Let's do that strong cruiser cutting again. You can do it, Mrs. Sasso. Oh, thanks. All right, let's get that out of the way. Here we go. I got it. I can do it. You can do it. Here we go. Another one, another little stack. Oops, that pink one is stuck in here. Let's get that out of there. All right, and cut off that end. Here we go. Here we go, I figured it out. Oh, uh-oh, cutting that off. Why am I doing that? I'll show you in just a second. You can even use kind of these little scrap edges. They won't even look like scrap edges. So this one kind of cut a little funny, but it's okay because I can tuck it under the next row. So I'll put it here, put my next row here. I'll put this one on. And I can even put this one on here. That one was cut a little bit too. And then what I'll do is for my next row, I'll be covering that up anyway. So it'll be fine. Oh, an orange one. I haven't used orange yet. I've got two in the way. Okay, now. Let's make our next row and see that part that I had cut off gets covered up, so it's all good. Now what about when we get to the end here? Well, that is going to be up to you, the artist. You can just make another row. just have it kind of round whoops right there just make another row here if you want to cut it before you put it down so if you want to make a little cut like this or a little curve cut before you put it down because you want a line there you can do that so there's two different ways sorry there's two different ways to do it you can do that little cut and put it there, or you can just lay it down. So I'll show you, I'll add a couple more on here. Oh, this one is a double by accident. I have two together here. Let me take that one off. So let me show you that one more time. If I wanted to fill this one in with one that I cut, then I would just cut a little bit of the edge off like that 